Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Byron and today's class will be about how we can learn English with balance and how balance can help us learn more effectively, learn faster and enjoy the whole process as we learn. In regards to learning English or any other language, it's very important to have balance and by that I mean that we have to learn the four elements equally. These four elements are reading, writing, listening and speaking. When we are learning any language, if we just miss one of these, we will have a very big gap in our knowledge and practice. And so it's very important that we learn and know how to practice these four elements when we are learning English. And this is the way we can learn faster and more effectively. So why is balance so important? It's because these four elements teach us different things. And if we want to have a complete understanding of English, we have to cover all four elements equally. For example, reading helps us learn new words and new ideas and concepts, but it doesn't help us practice using these in communication. Then there is the writing component of English, which is very important for work, for studying and for being online. But just writing alone is not enough because it doesn't teach us the real life interaction and communication. Then there is the listening component, which is very important to learn pronunciation and the correct use of phrases and the right way to speak naturally. But if we only listen, it's a very passive practice because we are not using it in any constructive way. Then there is the speaking component of English, which is very important in expressing ideas and sharing thoughts and feelings. But we don't learn anything from just speaking. Learning comes from listening and reading. So as you can see, all four elements are very different in their own unique ways. And if we want to master the English language, we have to spend time learning and practicing in all of these four elements. If we can have balance in our English learning, then we will be very proficient in our reading and writing, speaking and listening, which makes us very skillful with English so that we can use it much more effectively in our lives. So then the next question is, how can we be more balanced in our English learning? Well, to tick the reading box, there are so many interesting and fun things to read, such as comic books or novels or online articles about things we enjoy or even watching a movie in subtitles. As long as we are finding new and interesting ways to practice reading, we can tick the reading box. And then there is the writing element of English, which is also very important but we can see that there is so many reasons why we need to write. We are sending messages to our friends and family, we are writing texts or emails, or we can even write letters to a pen pal or join online discussions on forums that we are interested in. We can write and read about football, about painting or about cooking. There are many, many fun ways to practice our writing. And as long as we are writing about something we like every day, we can also tick the writing box. And then there is the listening element of English, which is the funnest one to practice. We can listen to songs that we like, or audiobooks, or even podcasts about things that we enjoy. Or we can just watch a movie and practice our listening there. As long as we have many interesting ways to always listen to English every day, we can also tick the listening box. And then there is the speaking box, which is the most important aspect of our English practice. If we can have fun and exciting ways to practice English and have very interesting people to speak to, then we can learn English very, very fast. The best way to practice speaking is to make it fun, have interesting things to speak about and very interesting people to speak to. If we can speak English every day, then we will naturally feel much more comfortable and confident and so we can learn English very, very fast. And so when applying balance into our daily practice, it's so important that we do things that are fun and exciting. We can make a list of all the things that we like to do and see how we can practice our reading, writing, speaking and listening in all of these activities. If we can make it fun and exciting, it won't even feel like studying or homework. Instead, it will feel like a hobby and interest that we actually like to do and we want to spend more time doing. And then the best way to have fun with this practice is to have many options of things we can do. That way, if we don't feel like reading a novel one day, we can just put on a movie or read a comic book instead. As long as we are doing something, we will be learning every single day. And now it's time for the fun part, which is making our balanced learning plan. 
So here we have to write down how the four elements benefit us. How does reading, writing, listening and speaking improve our everyday life? And also how do I practice this balance every day? What are some reading, writing, listening and speaking activities that I can do so that I can have this balance in my everyday practice? Please take time to write your own plan. But for reference, this is what I have written as my balanced learning plan. I've written that reading is very important to me because it helps me do things online. I can have more fun and learn more things. Then there's the writing aspect, which helps me communicate online and do my work better, but also be more professional when I'm writing things. By improving the listening aspect of English, it helps me understand people more. I can learn new words and also engage in more fun and interesting discussions with people. And then there is the speaking component, which to me is the most important one because it helps me communicate and share the ideas I have with confidence. It helps me connect with people and be clear in what I say. And this is what has helped me create this course in the first place. The real fun starts when I list all the things that I can do every day to help me improve my reading and writing, speaking and listening. When it comes to reading, I have so many things I like to read, including comic books or novels, but also I can watch movies with the subtitle on and practice my English like that. In my writing practice, I like to keep a personal diary to keep a list of all the things that I learn and did every day. I also like to text and message my friends and family online and WhatsApp. And then I also like to discuss with people online about things that we all like, such as football and yoga. The listening part to me is the funnest part because I can listen to all the songs that I want, watch all the movies that I want, and even listen to audiobooks that are very interesting and fun to me. And then the speaking practice is about connecting with people, having fun talking to people, joining social groups like football teams, or just making these videos for people where I can then re-watch myself to see where I can improve my speaking. I hope this class has shown you just how important it is to have balance in our English learning and how we can practice our reading and writing and listening and speaking every day. As long as we make it fun and understand the importance to ourselves, then we will naturally want to practice every day and have fun along the way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.